This video is going to end the discussion of Virumakun Season 3, Episode 1. The reaction is now going to commence. <laughs> the song in the background. Yeah. Well, I really wonder. I am certain it will be exciting. Oh my goodness, Ronwa. Ronwe? Ronwe. Oh yeah. Why? 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 Don't worry, Mary. You're the end game of Iruma. Unless we're doing the harem thing, which I would. I mean, I would be very surprised. Iruma doesn't seem like the guy to have a. Oh. Wow. Uh, the character designs have changed. The <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep. All of them have changed the character designs, though, at least a little. I was about to say, is it because there's been a little bit of a time skip and that's why everyone looks so different? Yeah. Reflecting upon his actions. Mm. <laughs> He's just sitting in front. Oh yeah, I'm excited about this club thing. Indeed. And Ali will- Ali-san will definitely be able to improve a lot. Oh right. The scroll talking. Ear protectors, uh oh. They're all gonna be trained specially, good to know. Yep. Hmm. Wow. I mean, they are supposedly the elite, right? Okay, so they have an ear to- Oh my god, it's that guy. Oh, I really won't talk about him, but I always forget, which is a meme, because he becomes invisible. Indeed. Indeed. Oh. Oh. Special tutors. Oh. Well, obviously enough I know two of them. Oh. <laughs> Rain. Of course. Exquisite. Of course. Of course. Wait, her as well? Sabrook and who has models? Awesome. Wait, is it all here with with Kalego, isn't he? Yes, but I love doom and gloom. Oh, okay. Indeed. <laughs> Robin. Okay. Hmm, why Robin? Robin is capable, he has a cool ability, but... Strange. Didn't expect him to be there. Oh, I know there's gonna be a new character in this arc. Wow. Yep, the misfit quest. <laughs> Just being very worried. I'm sad Kaldaigo is not gonna be a teacher. Yeah. Huh. I hope so. I see. Robin is an archer. Actually, it makes a lot of sense now to think about it. Because I was wondering how Iruma will become an archer by the end of this. That's it, that's fun, because we also know that... As, I don't know how I'm speaking, but... We do know that demons do need to fight. So, we'll see. And Baum is a great spellcaster, so he'll teach them. Okay, uh, if you're having fun with this, feel free to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you. And yeah, for more videos, reactions, discussions, so on and so forth. Right. In, of course. A very adult plan, okay. Imagination, okay. I'm excited also, but I don't think it's gonna be what they expect. Oh. <laughs> of course you are. Oh, okay. Feel bad about her. Indeed. She's a mermaid, okay. Oh. What is happening? Really? Okay, uh, what's happening? Uh, I mean, I don't think we have a choice. What? He's drinking tea? Hmm. Okay. Ooh, okay, interesting. Really? Huh, he's a beast team. Huh, okay, this is cool. Oh god. <laughs> I mean, uh... I understand why the boys wouldn't send here. Yep, yep, of course, of course. Ooh, is Baum just beating them up? Yeah, obviously. True powers. Oh, I'm so excited. Among all of us, the first year's powers. Craftiest. Advanced bloodline abilities. Powerful first year fighters. Skilled summoners. Okay, each one has a special skill. I'm worried, Robin. Is it skill? Fighting spirit. Come on, Robin, do something else, please. I have my doubts as well. Yeah, you probably are. Did Kaleiko mess with them to leave them, Robin? Oh my goodness. <laughs> of course, of course, Mary. Also, this guy, the gamer's tail, must be insanely powerful. He always hopes with it. Oh. Oh, she's gonna teach them archery. Ah. Hmm, interesting. So, they're also training fighting. Okay. Five minutes. Okay. Sorry, one more time. Probably. Indeed. Yep. What's this animation? Oh my goodness. Of course, taking advantage of them. Oh my goodness. What's up with the cross-dressing in this show? Oh no. 
Wow. Ah, ah. Have mercy. Oh no, that sounded so bad. Especially the situation. Yeesh. Great. Absolutely phenomenal in so many ways. I love it. I love the show. Uh, I love the world. I love the fact that each sensei is going to be giving different lesson. I am kind of sad. I am not joking. I am very sad actually in a way that we're not going to have... Um, God, I can't forget. I forgot. Yeah, Kalego. Teach Iruma. Because that would have been super fun. I really do love that. But then again, I guess Kalego is kind of the homeroom teacher. He's kind of always going to be there. And I do love that every single teacher has a specific plan for them. To level them up to insane levels. Curious that Quara apparently is going to be with the uh, Succubus teacher. Because, I mean... I don't know how Quara's going to do. Obviously, you know, uh, Rebecca. That's her name, right? I think it's Rebecca. I don't know why, but I think it's Rebecca. The other girl that has a succubus-like ability. Actually, I think she's called Elizabeth. Yeah, she's definitely Elizabeth. So, she absolutely, she makes sense. She has an amazing ability. It's fitting. The teacher can definitely teach her how to use her charms. What about Clara? Why? I don't know. I don't know. Each teacher has an idea. Apparently the one one of them is a hero in a demon war and he said he's gonna I think that's the guy that said that he's gonna turn them into the craftiest ones Which is interesting. It makes sense because it's jazz and the lion who has the special ability to uh, God the lion has the special ability. I, I'm forgetting I believe I believe it's called the king of feasts or feats Where he's super intelligent something of that sort so makes sense that he's gonna be training them and obviously you know Jazz is cunning, so yeah, perfect teacher for them. I completely understand that, that's what they will be training. Uh, next we have the Windblade, Windblade guy and I'm forgetting the name of the Sleepy guy. I He's pretty cool though, but makes sense they're gonna be training their Bloodline abilities, they're gonna be mastering them, which Makes enough sense, their bloodline abilities are offensive and pretty broken. Where I believe the Earth one can, it's not just Surf, he can control any surface he touches. So his bloodline ability is awesome. Whereas the Windblade just has a Windblade, so we'll see what other secrets that has. And their teacher is someone who I guess is as good as she is only because of her bloodline ability. So once again, I completely understand it. Now, next, who else we had? I mean the Balam and Alice and I am forgetting, I'm forgetting, I haven't watched this in a while but I love all these characters. Wait, what about the invisible guy that's always with them and doesn't exist, I almost forgot about him. I I'm gonna forget about him again but I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna list everyone else, I'll mention him at the end. I hope I remember, but that's a meme, I didn't know he existed, but he's been hiding in the show ever since season 1, I don't know his name. I don't know whether he's been mentioned, there is a spell on this anime that actually makes me forget about him. But anyway, uh, what was he saying? Sabrok and Alice are training fighting ability, perfect sense. And who else is left? Iruma and I forgot the name of the gaming guy, but they're also training. Yeah, uh, Kurumo and Kamui are training summoning, which very interesting. I guess for Kamui makes a lot of sense because he does have an innate bloodline ability to communicate with creatures. So I get it. And for Kurumi, maybe because of her, I guess, uh, ability to instantly enchant anyone she looks at, maybe that's why she's there. But I do think it would have been more interesting if Quara maybe became a summoner because she does have the living shoes and other strange things. And maybe Kurumi, because of her convincing ability and she's an idol, actually uh, went with the succubus teacher. I just think it would make more sense, but sh this is definitely more interesting. I can't remember. I think I listed one. But last, uh, I have seen promotional art. I know Iruma is going to become an archer. It makes a lot of sense because Robin is his teacher. Granted, we learned that it won't be Robin. It will be this uh, his sister or cousin. I forgot. One of the two. She's gonna be their teacher. So she's gonna teach them to be insane archers. That's interesting. Uh, maybe, oh, oh, you know what? Maybe it's actually the magical tools because the magical apparatuses. Those are a thing in this world. So maybe they're gonna learn how to use magical apparatuses 
more specifically balls and how to be incredible with them. Yeah, that, that would be interesting. But overall, insanely hype start. I really like the characters. There has been a slight change in the art style. I'm not certain whether there was a, because there was a time skip, that's why that happened. Or because what? I don't know what other reason there can be. I guess maybe just because the studio decided to change things, but there was a little bit of a time skip, I think. No, no, there isn't. They're still in the first sem semester, so... Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's been just an art style change. Okay. It's interesting. I don't mind it. It wasn't giant. It's just there. And I think overall the show looks better. I think so. It may be too early to tell, maybe I'm deluding myself, but a great start to a great anime that I'm really looking forward to. I hope we get to see more fighting. And I'm so happy that all of them are gonna train. I'm certain that... I'm hoping that every single one of the misfits actually gets a cool ability and trains and uh, there is some seriousness to their training. I'm kind of afraid for the succubus one, but we'll see. I'm certain that they're not gonna leave Clara in the dust and she can't do anything. I'm certain she will get something from the training. But, I almost forgot. The unexistent guy, you know what I'm talking about. I didn't know he existed until season 2. And and I actually noticed him in the end. I never noticed him during the episodes. But when I watch the reactions of other people, that guy actually is there. And I'm really thinking, whenever Kalego was listing all the reasons to why the different students have been bad and the reason why they were in the misfit class whenever we had the bad remark, was he mentioned? That invisible guy? I don't know, but he's such a mystery. I really want to know more about him because it's a meme that he doesn't exist. Uh, maybe he's like Kuroko from Kuroko no Basket where his bloodline ability is that he can't be noticed. Actually, there there is a precedent for that because Ronoe has the ability to be noticed everywhere, so I get it. And also Kurumi has the ability to be immediately affectionate, not affectionate, but for you to be immediately affectionate towards her. So yeah, I, I do think that's a possibility. We'll see. Uh, I'm really excited, I know what's gonna happen, but I'm looking forward to it. There's a video there, you can subscribe to the channel there, but for now, bye.